it's impossible to save your skin from the sun. That is why applying the right sunscreen is crucial. But the problem is not all sunscreens are created equal and picking the right sunscreen especially when you have sensitive skin can be extremely difficult. But don't worry, in this video, I'll tell you how to choose the right sunscreen for your sensitive skin in 5 easy ways so that you can protect your precious skin from all the sun damage. This is a common confusion. Should you go for mineral or chemical sunscreen for your sensitive skin? For those who don't know, there are two types of sunscreens, physical or mineral and chemical or synthetic. A chemical sunscreen uses ingredients that absorb UV rays. Once the ray is absorbed into the skin, the chemicals in the sunscreen go under a chemical reaction. This reaction converts UV light to heat and this heat evaporates from the skin. On the other hand, physical sunscreen commonly referred to as mineral sunscreen, sits on the skin surface and physically prevent UV rays from penetrating the skin by reflecting it. The primary active ingredients in chemical sunscreens are oxybenzone, avobenzone, octinosalate, octocrylene, homosalate, and octinozate. The active ingredients used in physical sunscreen are zinc oxide and titanium oxide. So, which one should you choose for your sensitive skin? To be honest, chemical sunscreens have a terrible reputation. The reason behind this is the presence of actives like oxybenzone. Oxybenzone has been linked to allergies, hormonal disruption like estrogenic activity and cell damage. So clearly, it's not a safe thing to put on your skin. Also, studies have found that the active ingredients in chemical sunscreen get absorbed in your bloodstream. That is why many people recommend that sensitive skin should not use chemical sunscreens. I don't agree with that. Oxybenzone is not an issue as you can find formulations that are free from this active and although studies found the presence of actives from chemical sunscreens in the bloodstream, more research is needed to conclude anything. But then, which one is better for your sensitive skin, chemical or physical? Well, I have sensitive skin and chemical sunscreen is working fine for me. So my answer is, irrespective of your skin sensitivity, choose sunscreen according to what your skin likes. If your skin likes chemicals, chemical it is. Also, you can make a sunscreen combo. To get the max protection, use both physical and chemical sunscreens on your skin, but only if your skin is compatible with the formulas because you will get both inside and outer protection. If you are using physical blockers, choose zinc oxide over titanium dioxide because zinc oxide is an anti-irritant and is well tolerated by sensitive skin types. Zinc oxide also provides the complete UV protection. Neutrogena Sheer Zinc Face Dry Touch Sunscreen is a good option for people with sensitive skin. It contains zinc and is a broad spectrum sunscreen. For chemical sunscreen, La Roche-Posay Antiluc Melting Milk Sunscreen SPF is an excellent option for sensitive skin. If your sensitive skin is dry, eczema prone, let your SPF work double duty. Choose a sunscreen that has additional ingredients like hydrators. Some of the sunscreens on the market that target sensitive skin contain ingredients like colloidal oatmeal or ceramides. Also, there are some sunscreens options with hyaluronic acid or aloe vera. The benefit of having a hydrator in sunscreen is they offer the same type of benefits as traditional moisturizers while protecting you from the sun. For sensitive skin, having the right SPF is crucial as the skin is already in a fragile state and needs the highest protection. But by saying highest protection, don't assume I am telling you to use the highest SPF. I have my own reasons why. SPF stands for Sun Protection Factor, a measure of how well a sunscreen protects against UVB rays. Manufacturers calculate SPF based on how long it takes to sunburn skin treated with sunscreen 
compared to skin with no sunscreen. So technically, you would assume the higher the SPF, the better it is. But this is not the case. Yes, under ideal conditions like in a laboratory, a sunscreen with higher SPF protection and broad spectrum coverage offers more protection against sunburn than lower SPF. But real life is not like a lab. In real life, products with very high SPFs often create a false sense of security. People who use them tend to stay out in the sun much longer. They may even skip reapplying. If you have sensitive skin, this will damage your skin even more. Not only that, an SPF of 45 has been shown to filter out 98% of the sun's UVA and UVB rays. So an SPF higher than 45 may be unnecessary. If you have sensitive skin, avoiding sunscreen that has fragrances is the best idea. Everyone likes good smells, that's why some companies may formulate sunscreens with certain fragrances to provide a pleasing scent. But for sensitive skin, this can lead to irritation, redness, and sensitivity. For this reason, some people may have reactions to chemical sunscreens. Although in this case, the sunscreen has nothing to do. It's the fragrance which is the culprit. Sunscreen formulation typically refers to a sunscreen's delivery format. Although often ignored, this can change everything on sensitive skin. Currently, there are five types available in the market. Sunscreen cream, lotion, sticks, sprays, and powder. In my opinion, the cream is the best formulation for sensitive skin types. The problem with sprays or sticks is that it can be hard to reach every single area you need to cover. You can spray, 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 but still end up sunburned because you missed covering properly. That's why using a lotion formula or cream formula for your first application would be your best bet. Sunscreen sticks, sprays, or powders are better for reapplication throughout the day. So these were my 5 tips which will definitely help you to choose the right sunscreen for your sensitive skin. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on my socials, the handles are given right here. My name is Salmin and I'll catch you on my next one. Until then, Ciao!